So we've cooked plenty of stuff in weird ways on this channel before. We've cooked sausage with a blowtorch. We've cooked an egg with an Xbox. We've cooked an egg with uh, a light bulb. And we've cooked bacon on iron. And we've cooked steak a few times as well, but only the traditional way. So I wonder what the weirdest way we could cook a steak actually is. Two-part epoxy. It's really amazing stuff. You can use it for making things. You can use it for repairing things. The possibilities are endless. It comes in different shapes and sizes too. This is about 60 grams and goes off in about four minutes. Whereas this is about a kilogram and goes off in a couple of hours. And if you're a weirdo... This is what nine kilograms of epoxy looks like. Let's see what we can do with it. So epoxy consists of uh, two parts, uh, resin and a hardener. Now both parts on their own are stable, but when you mix them together they react. And uh, it's a thermoset polymer, so what that means is it's cured using heat. Uh, so when, when it's actually set, it doesn't melt like a, like a normal uh, thermoplastic would. It's uh, the liquid to solid reactions one way with it. So when the two parts are mixed together, there's a chemical reaction known as polymerization that happens. And uh, that converts it to a solid, and the reaction's exothermic, so it means it, it releases heat energy as the reaction happens. Now the more epoxy that you react together, the, the more heat that's produced actually speeds up the thermosetting uh, reaction. So that in turn releases even more energy and uh, the whole thing can get to a bit of a runaway effect. So I managed to find one YouTube video online which is about 20 or something minutes long, uh, which is a really simple explanation of how the chemistry behind this works. I'll pop a link to that into the dis in the description if you're interested. So I need to glue some bits together, so what we're going to do is mix some excess up. Uh, in a sort of known amount in a, in a certain container that we think looks about right and uh, measure it on the thermal imaging camera and see see how hot it gets and for how long. So this is about 500 grams of epoxy mixed up at the standard manufacturer's ratio of about uh, nine parts to one and it's just in an old takeaway container. As you can see, it managed to get to uh, over 55 degrees for just about half an hour. So this is about 900 grams of epoxy mixed at a slightly different ratio. If you put slightly more hardener in, it will actually slow the reaction down. So this is about an 8 to 1 ratio in a slightly bigger container as well. So with these changes, this one lasted about an hour above 55 degrees. So I've just picked up some steak for the experiment. It's uh, not the best stuff, but it was quite thin, so I think it's going to give the best chances of success. So we'll uh, give this stuff a try. So we've got a cardboard box set up. It's about uh, 200 by 150 mil at the bottom. Uh, thermal imaging camera set up. And I think what the plan's going to be is to line it with a layer of cling film. Go for almost a kilo of epoxy mixed at about a 1 to 8 ratio. Um, another layer of cling film. Uh, the steak. Another layer of cling film, and then another kilo of epoxy mixed about 1 to 8 ratio. So let's get that mixed up and give it a try.
That is very, very uncooked. Well, it's edible. It's cooked. It just tastes exactly like that cooked beef filling you get for sandwiches. Well, I thought that was a partial success. So I think as a proof of concept, yeah, that did work, but the steak was pretty horrible. It was definitely overcooked. Um, I bargained on using a thin piece of steak, and you probably could have got away with a thicker bit of steak for that, actually. And it probably did get too hot, so either a bigger container to um, stop the reaction accelerating so much, or using slightly less epoxy uh, might have helped. It's not really possible to get it to plateau out and just sort of flatline at 55 degrees um, for an hour, unless you were to really make it overshoot and then use something like water cooling to hold it there. That could work, but it's a pretty adventurous experiment, so I think we're going to leave this one here. So in a pinch, confirmed, you can cook steak with glue. If you like that video guys, please uh, give us a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the videos in the future.